welcome back to Breakthrough Bullies. Today I'm going to be talking about how we deworm our dogs over here. So if you see right here on the table, I have a couple of things. So I'm going to get into the methods that we use. We actually have three methods that we use for different dogs because some of them like it, some of them don't, some of them hate it. So the first method that I'm going to tell you guys about is the canned food. The canned food kind of overtakes the smell of the, of the dewormer. So we use that, we put half a can of it and then we mix in the dewormer and we just mix it all up and we give it to those dogs. And then we use actually also a bread method. So what we do is we get um, a, just a slice of bread and then we just put the dewormer on there and it kind of soaks it in. And that's kind of easy because the dogs that just will eat anything, they'll take that way. You just give it to them and they just take it in. The third way is the hardest way, which is you have to actually get the syringe and forcefully give the dogs the dewormer. And those are the stubborn dogs that will not take the bread. They won't take the canned food. They won't take anything because we tried several different ways to do it and it just did not work. But this way I'm going to show you guys real quick on how we do it with the canned food. So what we do is, well, let me tell you guys about this first. It's the Safeguard dewormer. And this is kind of the way they sell it everywhere, like at tractor supply and stuff. And it's the 125 milliliter. We actually buy the gallon because we do have a lot of dogs um, and we do deworm our dogs every other month. So like this month, we're going to go ahead and use the safeguard. So then we're going to skip a month and then we're going to use the Pyrantel. And this is just so that the dogs don't get immune just to one dewormer. So we switch them off like that. So like I said, one month we'll do this. The following month we'll skip then we'll use this. So let me get into this. What you want to do is just get a bowl, get the canned food. There's half already in here. Just put the canned food in here like that and then you want to get the dewormer just shake it up a bit <clears throat> so for every 10 pounds you're going to want to use one milliliter from the syringe so i'm going to use right now for a 60 pound dog just stick it in go right up to the six like that and then you just want to put it in the bowl and like I said, this is just because the dogs don't like the smell. You just mix it in and you want to make sure to just get all the white in there. All right, so it's already all mixed in. You see no white. You just see all the, the canned food. So let's go out and give it to the dog right now. All right, so this is Trigger getting his dose of dewormer for this time. He's going in on it. He likes it. Look at him. <laughs> so the puppy is actually watching Trigger eat his dewormer. <laughs> So if you guys see Trigger going back and forth to the bowl, you're gonna sometimes have those dogs who they, they like it, they like the taste, but it takes them a little bit more time. So what we do is we just leave the bowl with them and we'll put them in a, in a crate and they work at it at their own progress. He pretty much ate most of it, but there's just that little bit and there he goes. But I'm telling you, some of these dogs are easy and they'll just take it and some of these dogs are just a little stubborn. Okay, Queens, so I'm doing this dewormer. So I'm doing G-Funk right now and I'm using a different method. It's with bread. So I do that with the savage dogs, the dogs who not give me a hard time with a dewormer, who doesn't, like, doesn't care for the taste, they just want to eat something. So G-Funk happens to be one of those dogs. He's a savage, I'm telling you. But he is 60 pounds, therefore, if you can see, he's going to be on the 6. Because, like we said, every 10 pounds is 1 ml. All around the bread so it could soak in. It won't be in one place and it won't drip. There we go. We like it like that. And then after that, we fold it up. Okay, guys. So this is going to be really quick. Watch this. It's going to be really fast. <laughs> oh my goodness, he almost bit my finger. That's it. That's literally it. Easy way. If your dogs are savages like this baboon right here, it'll be quick for you. Good boy. He thinks I have more. Good boy. So as you guys just saw how Ashley did it with G-Funk, he kind of pretty much doesn't care for the taste. He can care less. So with the bread, it's kind of easier because he sees the bread and he'll just take it and he eats it. He chowed it down quick. But like with Shelby right here, we have to have the canned food, so that smell takes over the dewormer. And it's, it's, it's another easy way, but it's not as fast as the bread. It's almost like you have to trick them into taking it because um, if you... <laughs> her dad, B-Cake, will not... He can like smell it through 
the the canned food we can't give them the bread we actually have to force it down so that's going to be another way we're going to show you guys but these are the two fastest and quickest and easiest way to do it so let's jump into the other one but hey we get it done <laughs> and i'm gonna do shelby right now so she has her days where she likes it and she doesn't so let's see what type of mood she's in right now she won't get out oh my goodness she ends up liking it that's my little piggy right there Yes, queen, chow it down. We love it. We love it. Oh, she's really going in. Look, good boys is jealous. It's okay, boy. You're going to get your... Wait a second. He's the one that pees on me. Oh, no, sir. We're not going to have a fun time with him. Oh, my goodness. So she's chowing it down right now. Thank God, because I don't have to shoot it down her throat. My boy G5 right here is going to be waiting. He's actually good. He eats it too, thank God. Except this baboon right here. I'm going to have to shoot it down his throat. But the thing about him is he's going to pee on me. And I'm not looking forward to him. Oh my goodness, I'm not. Oh, can we do him last one? We can do him last if you want. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not prepared. He's my least favorite dog. You finished? I think she finished it. Stop it. There's nothing there. <laughs> So as you can see, my little piggy finished her bowl. Good girl, Shelby. And that's how we do it here. So this is gonna be the next method that we use here. We have to bring in some reinforcement. <laughs> my son, Special Renee. Helper. <laughs> Ashley sidekick. Um, this way we're gonna have to actually force it down because like I was telling you guys before, beefcake, we can't give him canned food. We can't give him bread. We tried, uh, Ham. We tried several things with him and he won't do it. He'll go on a hunger strike to where he just he doesn't want to take it. So we found this way and it works well for us. So we're gonna show you guys how Beefcake takes his dewormer. Yes, Queens, we must do it the hard way now. So I'm just gonna put little by little in just so he won't spit it out. Get over here, you family. Little. There we go, and he's taking it as you can see. Okay, you're good. Little bit more. There we go. Just little by little. It's a slow process, but at least he's be taking it all. More. Good boy. And you want to keep his head up so it won't come out at all. Oh, he almost yeah. you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. There we go. Little bit more. You're fine. You're fine. Just a little. There we go. Renee, I want to thank you so much for being my special helper today. I was glad to be here. He's lying. Okay, guys, so that's how we do deworming over here at Breakthrough Bullies. And in no way are we telling you guys to do our methods. That's just something that we came up with and we started doing and it works well for us. So we stick to our schedule. All of our dogs have been worm free and they stay nice and healthy. So if you've enjoyed this video, we encourage you guys to go check out our other videos and maybe it can be beneficial for your yard as well. So until next time guys, have a good day and God bless.